Okay, hi guys, welcome to my channel again. And in this tutorial, I'll try making my, I'll teach you the basics on color harmony or color theory, whatever it's called. So, so yeah, let's get into it. So first thing I'm gonna, just gonna tell you some basics. So, so we already know that these are probably the primary colors. I'm just gonna tell you just in case if you don't know this. So those are the primary colors and the, and what the, these are the secondary colors, the ones that are the ones that are made when you mix these colors together. So as you can see, red. So here, look, red. Or, wait, sorry. Um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Those are the rainbow. So those are when the prim when the primary colors and secondary colors are mixed together, it makes the rainbow. But there are also tertiary colors. Which are the colors in between? I'll list, I'll mark them all. So if you can mix those rainbow colors, you can create you can create the colors in here. So green plus dark blue, green plus blue equals aqua. And so yeah, that's that's just the simples of simples of the color color theory. Now I'm gonna teach you color harmony. So first of all, there are there are about uh six Six color harmonies, yes, and I'll be teaching them first. So I'll start with this, and this is called, um, wait, this is called complementary, complementary color scheme. And so, since the colors are so contrasted, it's good when used when you want to make something stand, when you make, want to, when you want to make something stand out, and or when you want something to look cartoony. Also, it's a bit jarry when both are used at full saturation and uh, it's also a bit used when you use like 50 50 on uh when you use 50 50 on both, both colors so example so it's just not nice to look at if, it, if they're both used half at the same time so basically any of these colors that oppose each other are complementary colors as you can see here i'm turning the wheel around and so that's complementary color scheme. Next is analog color scheme. Analog color schemes are basically the three colors beside each other. And um, yeah, they're often compatible with each other when they are usually well managed. I usually use one color for, uh, I usually would put one color for the, what do you call that? Um, for the dominant, yes, one color for this dominant. Well, the second one, I pick any for support. Third one's just for some bling or accent. So any of these three colors that are beside each other are analog. So there are lots of kinds of analog color schemes, but there are still more color schemes we have to go through. Now I'm gonna show you, this is called the triad color scheme. Triad color schemes are, ba it's basically the one that are just, like, the ones that are opposing each other when, as a triangle. Or you could see they have three colors. They have three colors in between each one. So that's a triad color scheme. It's, the triad the color schemes are usually vibrant with each other. And, um, Although again, I use one as dominant, and this and the other ones I just use as a as little, as slight add-ons because when everything, as I said, as if everything's 50-50 or everything is just sharing, sharing so that they have the same level on how much color you put on your screen, it turns awkward. It's horrible. I tried that before. I just had a horrible experience. So, next color scheme. Split complementary. So split complementary is like the complementary complementary color scheme, but as you can see, it's different because it's split complementary. <laughs> so it's basically like complementary, but instead of sharing with the one in the middle, it shares with the ones on both sides on one color of the split. Yes. So it has a it has strong color contrast, like complementary, but it it usually has less tension. So turn this thing around, and you have different kinds of split complementary schemes. So yes. Now we're going to go on to the what do you call this? 
Um, the rectangle or tetradic color scheme uses two complementary schemes, as you should see, so long as it always oops. Um, wait, I'm gonna put this back so it's only problem. So long as it ends up as a rectangle. If you don't know what I mean, if it ends up as a rectangle, if I trace this down, you can see it's a plain rectangle. Wait, let me fix that. Let me fix this color scheme because it's not put in the proper place. Wait. And yeah, there I got it on their places. So it's very flexible because you have lots of colors to choose from. But it's best that one of your colors are dominant. Paying attention to the balance of the warm and cool colors is recommended. So yes, let's go to the next one. Now this is split, I mean, oh, I'm sorry, I meant square color scheme. It's just a rectangle, but it's a square, as you can see. If I turn this, ah, I keep turning around the screen. So if you turn this thing around, you, you get the square, you get the colors that are opposing each other as a square. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's best for background. So like the rectangle, it's also best for background. So using these for characters, it, your character will become too, too colorful. It'll just turn bad. I had lots of color. I, have lots of, I had lots of characters that use many different kinds of colors. Last but not least, the monochromatic. As you can see on my screen, it's quite pretty. Monochromatic is using one color, but of the different, um, of the different saturations. As you can see, if we use this, oh, this ag, wait, if we use this one, so that's monochromatic, using only one color scheme of different saturations. So that's monochromatic, and it's. Comfortable to the eyes, at least to me, because it's very nice looking at it. And it is also best used for attracting attention. For example, if you made the jungle and then suddenly there's a parrot in the middle of the place or a bird, using one color for it is usually best so that it attracts attention. It attracts attention well. Also, it can be boring if it's badly used, like example, same saturations. It you should usually make different different hues as I as I'll show you an example I'll use a uh, I'll use green for example you can just change the saturations in hue so well, the square in the middle that you can see this is the this is like monochromatic changing the tones in hues is will make the it is monochromatic there so you just this is the monochromatic color scheme and so yes yeah, those are the basics of color schemes I'll I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you if you have any suggestions on what you want me to do please comment down below so that I can try uh yeah doing what you suggested because I'm running out of video idea so if you have anything you'd like me to teach you about just state it in the comments and I'll try to see it as quick as possible and so yeah thank you for watching please hit hit that like button and I'll see you next time. Wait, I'm gonna just take away all of these things because they don't look pretty. And yeah, see you next time.